Hi, I'm George Levy for Bits Online, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the peace treaty between North Korea and South Korea, and why it's such an important moment in the history of blockchain. Stay tuned. April 27th, 2018 is a very special moment in the history of the Korean Peninsula and the world. And that is because on April 27, 2018, the leaders of North and South Korea got together to create what is known as the Panmunjom Declaration. On that day, Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, actually crossed over into South Korea and met with Moon Jae-in, the leader of South Korea, and together they created this declaration. What you see right now is the Panmunjom Declaration page on Wikipedia, and you see the full text of this declaration. You see the full instructions of the two leaders solemnly declare before the 80 million Korean people and the whole world that there will be no more war in the Korean Peninsula and thus a new era of peace has begun. It's a very important declaration. Key things about this declaration is that it also moves the Korean Peninsula towards denuclearization, that is taking nuclear weapons off the table. But there's a very important tie-in with the Ethereum blockchain about this declaration. And that's because a Korean game developer, a South Korean game developer, actually took the texts of the text of the Panmunjom Declaration and recorded them permanently and immutably on the Ethereum blockchain. And I'm going to tell you exactly how you can see them yourself. What this game developer actually did was actually created two transactions, one for the text in Korean and one for the text in English. Let me take you to both. First, let's look at the Korean version. What I will do right now is I will be taking you to what is known as a block explorer. A block explorer is a tool that enables you to look inside a blockchain. In this case, we're looking at Ether, Etherscan, which is a block explorer that focuses on the Ethereum blockchain. What you're seeing right now is the transaction that has the Korean text. And this is a transaction with transaction ID that ends in 553C. Right now, you're looking at the transaction. I'll now take you to the English transaction. And what you will find is that it will have a different transaction ID. And that's because they are two separate transactions. And this game developer actually encoded this transaction with the text for this declaration. So first, let's look at the Korean version. If we go here, what you will find is that at the bottom, you will find that there's all this input data. And right now, it is just a series of hexadecimal characters all together in one long, long, long string. And right now, you can't read a message. However, there's an option here to convert to UTF-8. UTF stands for Unicode Transformation Format. And what we'll be able to do now is we're going to switch it into a legible format that you'll be able to see. Right now we're switching to Korean. What you will find is that this is the text to the actual declaration written into this transaction. Let's now look at it in English. If we go to this transaction, you see this is the one that actually ends in B548. It's a different transaction. You find that there's also input data and right now you can't read it. But you have an option also to move over to Unicode transformation format, which we will do right now. And what you find is that this is the full text of the Panmunjom Declaration, written both in Korean and in English. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, I invite you to leave them below. Also, if you have not subscribed, I invite you to subscribe and click like as we publish brand new videos on a regular basis with a lot more information on cryptocurrency. Until next time, I'm George Levy for Bits Online, where cryptocurrency and technology media meet the future. Thank you for watching.